Hello everyone, welcome! So Baldur's Gate 3 is almost out, and I decided to speak about Warlock Invocations. This is the feature that makes Warlock a class so unique. At level 1, you won't be able to choose any, but as soon as you hit level 2, you'll be able to choose 2 invocations from a list of several. But you must choose wisely, because you cannot change your invocations, never ever in Baldur's Gate. And you only get to choose a third one on level 5. So let's do it! Agonizing Blast, it is the invocation that's mandatory for most Warlocks, because most Warlocks are going to be using Eldritch Blast to de deal their damage. And Eldritch Blast is a cantrip that scales a lot. You get more rays on level 5 instead of getting just an extra die. Because all cantrips, usually on level 5, they would get an extra die of damage. So Firebolt is 1d10 damage, level 5 it is 2d10 damage. Eldritch Blast is also 1d10 damage, but level 5 you get 2 rays, so you shoot 2 times for 1d10 each time. With this invocation, Agonizing Blast, you add your Charisma modifier to each one of the rays. So that's why it is mandatory if you want to be... Uh, a, a normal warlock, let's, let's call that. Armor of Shadows basically lets you cast Mage Armor at will on yourself. Mage Armor will give you an armor class of 13 plus your dexterity modifier. The only problem with this invocation is that if you war wall, your warlock will start with leather armor, and once you, if you want to get this invocation and use it, you must be naked. So until you fight a robe or something like that, you have to be naked to use that because you can't use that with an armor. So yeah, mm, kind of a bummer or maybe an advantage. This speech is one that I use if I don't plan to having anyone on my part that can speak to animals because on Larian games, speaking to animals is always a must. They are, they are incredible. So I always pick that if I won't have anyone who can do that. Beguiling Influence will give you proficiency in the three Charisma skills. And that, that's basically that. I, I don't think that's worth an invocation. Devil Sight is pretty much an uber dark vision with double the range. And theoretically, it should be able to see inside magical darkness, so it would enable a nice combo. But in Baldur's Gate, right now, it just doesn't work. I wouldn't get it unless you really, really want Dark Vision, because there are better invocations right now, as it is. Fiendish Vigor allows you to cast False Life at will. It is a spell that scales with level, so basically, if I get it now, I can get 7 temporary hit points. And then next level will be 8 temporary hit points. So it is alright. Um, it is a good invocation, maybe, for the early level. And that's a maybe if you don't want to focus on the, your Eldritch Blast. Mask of Many Face allows you to cast this guy self at will. That usually wouldn't be the best one on a D&D tabletop game. And even here in Baldur's Gate, it's not like, yes, now it's game changing, but it's nice. I mean, you can become a Drow to speak of Drows, you know. You can become a tiefling to speak of tieflings, and then you can kind of unlock dialogues that you wouldn't be able to have with your natural choice of character. So that, that's pretty cool. I think in Baldur's Gate here, it is pretty cool. Repelling Blast. I think this invocation is very good, because as a warlock, as I, as I said, you're going to be using Eldritch Blast a lot. That's how you deal damage. That's your bread and butter. And with this invocation, every time you hit your enemy, they're going to be pushed away 4.5 meters. That's a lot. That's half your move. And imagine so, level 5, you can, you can, you can shoot two rays with an action. You can, you can move a creature so far away. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Thief of Five Fates allows you to cast the Bane Warlock spell on Spur Long Rest. Bane is a spell that yeah, it says here, you target three, creature, three creatures, your enemies, and they have a 1d4 penalty on attacking and saving throws. But at, that's also a concentration spell, so if you take a hit, you need to test to see if you maintain the spell. But it's, it's just only on per long rest. I find that the other invocations, they do much more for you, you know? I like to have a power that I can be using constantly, at least myself, at least that's how I am. 
When your Warlock hits level 5, you get to choose a new invocation and there are two new options. One with Shadows and Sign of Ill Omen. One with Shadows allows you to cast Invisibility at will, but at a cost. You need to be on an obscure area, like a dark area. And right now, Baldur's Gate is not working properly. If you move at all, it's going to break it, so I don't recommend it. Find of Ill Omen is a little bit underwhelming because you only learn to cast the Bestow Curse spell. That's a normal spell, the clerics and wizards will have it, and you're, you're not getting an additional cast once per long rest. You actually only learn it, and you have to use your own Warlock's, Warlock slots to cast it. Uh, yeah, there are some nice curses that you can have, but still, I don't think that's worth it, especially because will be your third invocation and you'll be with, without a while having new ones. Thank you very much for watching the video, guys. And if you're still here, please consider leaving your like and subscribe to the channel, right? We'll see ya.